What's you guys? Welcome to Game Take. So I've been having a little bit of a problem, that, but I might have found a solution that might be able to help you. I've got a Go XLR. I've only had it about a week, but I got this problem where I have to keep my microphone a little bit away from me. I'll just bring this up and show you where it is. It's just here in front of me. It's an AT2020, and basically what's happening is as I talk, the gate. I've got a gate on my XLR. I'll take you over to on the Go XLR. I'll take you over there in a second. But as the gate's opening, it's letting through the background noise, which is either a static noise. I don't think it's my fans, but there's definitely some kind of weird tinny rumbling going on. Now, you probably can't hear that at this precise moment because I've got a couple of plugins stuck in, which I'm going to take you to first. But what I want to do is I'm going to take you over to the GoXLR page now. So if you look down below me, you can see that I've got my gate here set at minus 48, which is great because if I shut up for a second, there's no background, there's no fans, there's no nothing. But what's happening is as my voice goes above minus 48, it's opening the gate and then I'm getting this noise. Now you probably can't hear it at the moment. And that's because if I come across to the centre monitor here in my filters, you'll see that I've got a noise suppression on and a VST plugin. So what you want to do to this is just a workaround. Open that up. This is rear fur. Now what this is doing is this red line here is anything that's below that doesn't come through on the audio. And so if I hop over to what I'll do is I'll reset this. Now that that's reset, what I did was I turned my gate off so that the background noise was coming through. And then I put my gate back on, which was at minus 48. So my gate's back on now. But what I found was if I turn off this VST and I turn off this noise suppression. I was, this is what was happening. This is the sound that I was getting through just the Go XLR. This, this kind of a weird. I can't describe it, snare drum feeling. Now I can hear it in my headphones, that doesn't change, there's nothing I can do about that. But by having these in, so I added in this VST rear fur and it sounded like this once I'd set it up, which is really, really simple to do. Let's bring that back around the front. I can't show you that bit because um, it would make the audio go silent. But I found that that on its own just wasn't quite enough. So what I'd done was I added in this noise suppression as well. Now this is on the CPU usage now. It's the Speak X one. This comes default at minus 30, which didn't seem to be doing too much. So I brought it all the way up to roughly where my my microphone peaks at its best. It's loudest. It's, it's actually below minus 5. So you probably could come off a little bit than that. But I've set it to minus 5. And then when I turn that on as well, That's what that sounds like. But if I go quiet, there's nothing in the background. And when I talk, I haven't got quite, I've still got it in my headphones, but I haven't got that tinniness going on onto the recording. What you have to do, we'll just get rid of that, is I'm going to bring up my settings because the way I have Go XLR configured is if I come into audio, I have my chat mic through the Go XLR but it's going straight on its own channel into OBS. So now I can control it with my Go XLR. If I bring the slider down, it will get quieter into OBS. But I haven't got it on broadcast stream mix because basically I want to multi-track uh, into Audacity. So the way I've got it set up is I can control the level of my vocal going into OBS. I can't adjust the system on my Go XLR though. I've got that literally being used as a kind of monitor. So to change the system levels, like for games and anything like that, I do that. That goes straight into um, OBS and I have to adjust that on OBS. But I can mute it and do all kinds of things like that. So basically, I'm going to quickly show you how to go and get these from Reaper. So I'll just close these off. So it just, it's just helping me a little bit. 
until I can afford to get a better microphone. This is an AT2020 and uh, I didn't have that many problems with it before. I've used Refer for a long time, many years now, and I didn't have that problem. But since getting the GoXLR, the preamps are so powerful and so so clean it's really picking up everything so it just shows you how bad my old behringer ones were actually and before you say it i know they're um, owned by behringer but it's different right so what you would do is come up to your browser just type in reaper reaper plugins you'll see them come up there and then you come across here to the reaper fm and it's rear plugs they call them and so if you come down to here, I've downloaded the 64-bit for my Windows, depending on which ones you want. I think if you're using Audacity, I think you can only, if you want to put these into Audacity, I think you can only put them in as 32s. But uh, don't quote me on that one. Um, but for what I wanted, I downloaded these. These will come up in your Downloads folder, and then you just install them. It's just a double click and it will automatically install into OBS. That's pretty much all you've got to do. And then when you come to want to use them, so this would be blank. What you would do is just add here and then down the bottom, you'll see VST plugins. So let, let's, uh, let's add one and call it tray for some reason. And then what you would do is come over here and you would select, this is how you install all uh, VST plugins, by the way, not just Reapers. But here you can see is all the different ones. It comes as a pack. And that is how you do that. Well, I'm going to get rid of them, so. So once again, I'm going to quickly run through it. So you install your Reaper, make sure it's on subtract, make sure it's reset. So the red line is up here. Bring your noise gate off on your GoXLR so that it's permanently picking up the background noise. Stay quiet, tick the box, let it analyze it, then tick uncheck it. That will be your setting then. And then this is what it sounds like without it. So this is without the VST plugin and without the noise suppression. And I'm guessing there's, you know, the gate's working, but it's opening up. And then if I bring them, and put them in that's what they sound like now so hopefully that's a little bit better you can still i've still got a bit of eq in to mess about with so i've only had it just under a week and um it's a great bit of kit there's a lot to uh there's a lot to learn about it so it's uh gonna take me a little bit of time so anyway guys thank you for watching i hope you found this helpful and uh I'm going to put it out onto a video. It might help someone. Anyway, guys, I'll catch you in another one. Bye for now.